Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicles Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Lisa Ray has opened her mouth yet again and wrote a check that that derriere can't cash. Sis has been online talking about women that can't keep a man as though Sis didn't recently come out and say that she lost her husband to Dwayne Martin. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. News has been swirling lately regarding your girl Lisa Ray talking about women having bad boxes that can't keep a man. Now an old episode of Cocktails with Queens has been circulating the World Wide Web, honey. And as you know, when there's no new news out there, people will go and dig up old news and revive it, give it life. And the most recent news that has been revived was this clip of Lisa Ray saying Tony Braxton might not have been able to keep a man because sis might be part of the Bad Box Anonymous crew. That's not her words, child. That was mine. But take a listen to this, and then we'll go into detail. But you know what? Tony Braxton got some fine men back in the day. Yes, she, she did. did. She, she hey, didn't she did. She did. So we don't know what she's doing in the bedroom. It'd be like Halle Berry. Yeah, I can't imagine Tony Braxton not hey. being able to put it down with the uh, with the amount of love songs that this girl got and the right. amount of passion, amount of no talk now. and no action. What you mean, uh, Lisa Ray about Halle Berry? She not supposed to be good in the bed. That's what they said. That's what I read. Really? And that's what I heard. Oh. That's, that's what, what they say. So what nobody they regrets not doing anything when they were young. No. I do regret stuff. Tony regrets I I so let's delve into how this conversation even started and then I'll bring you up to speed. So Toni Braxton had an interview back in August where she said, I regret not having more sex when I was younger. I should have drank more. I should have partied more, smoked more even. I think my religious upbringing stopped me doing a lot of things that I should have done. It's not a good look at the age I am now. The way it works is you do that stuff in your 20s and 30s and then in your 40s you've earned enough to pay for the therapy. So after Tony did that interview the ladies with cocktails with queens decided to discuss it now they brought up all these fine men that tony has dated and lisa pretty much insinuated that maybe tony couldn't keep a man because she was a part of the bad box anonymous crew child and then she retched around there she didn't reach around she retched around and tried to bring up holly berry's name all slick like but claudia jordan caught it so we don't know what she doing in the bedroom it'd be like holly berry yeah, I can't imagine Tony Braxton not hey. being able to put it down with the uh, with the amount of love songs that this girl got and the right. amount of passion, amount of talk and no action. What you mean, uh, Lisa Ray about Halle Berry? She not supposed to be good in the bed. That's what they said. That's what I read. Really? And that's what I heard. Oh, that's, that's what, what they say. Now, you may be able to say a lot about your girl, Holly Berry. Holly might have been married a time or two. Holly might have had a hard time keeping a man. Holly, the actress, might be forever losing a son. <laughs> or two. But dang it, what we will not be doing as black women is tearing down each other's box. So Lisa, do you really want to keep it all the way a buck? Because I do recall a time that you said your man was taken away from you by Dwayne Martin. So a man chose his friendship over his wife. To really to be quite honest, then he became friends with Dwayne Martin, which used to be one of my friends on all of us. And when I introduced them, that was one of the worst things I ever did. Somehow within that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin and they became better friends than what me and my husband did. And I couldn't understand that for the love of God. And then there's a long list online of men that you've dated that didn't work out for you as so well. Can we really put Tony Braxton and Holly Berry in this category without adding thyself, Lisa? Can we? Child, so after the internet tore Lisa a new one, she attempted to go back on Cocktails with Queens and she didn't even issue an apology. She tried to backtrack and backpedal on what she said. Take a listen to this. Let me be the first one to talk about this because they told my ass up this week about talking about I said that her is trash. And I was like, where did I say that at? What you mean, uh, Lisa Ray about Halle Berry? She not supposed to be good in the bed. That's what they said. That's what I read. Really? And that's what I heard. You know what I mean? I would not know that because I'm not gay nor am I bisexual. Um, but that disturbed me because Hallie is beautiful. I don't have a problem with Hallie. I love Hallie. Hallie is breaking 
barriers for all of us. You know what I mean? And so that is absolutely a no-no. However, I absolutely heard that. I remember when Monsters Ball was her love scene and they was trying to say that that's how she is in bed. And it was like, no, it was a movie, guys. What are you talking about? Then they came out with the whole Wesley Snipe thing and who was that that hit her in the ear or something that she didn't have good relationships. And I was like, child, we all done broke up with somebody that we ain't with now. So shit, we all trying to be with somebody. We got to go through a lot of folks to get to that one. So I just wanted to say that. Lisa, I'm sorry, girl, but just because you wear white does not make you clean. You were wrong, and the real womanly thing to do would be to apologize, and you didn't. And you did a horrible job of backtracking and trying to clear things up because you didn't clear up anything. I probably would have appreciated it more if you would have said, I said what I said, and I'm not changing on it. Now, just to give Holly a few accolades since Sis was so dogged by Lisa Ray, Holly is currently in a relationship with her Grammy-winning boo, Van Hunt, so Sis does definitely have a man. And to add insult to injury, Lisa, bad box or not, Holly has earned an Emmy, Golden Globe, SAG, and NAACP Image Award. Sis seems to be happy to me, and when folks are happy, it's best to leave them alone. Word to the wise, Lisa. Word to the wise. Anyway, what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about all of this messiness regarding Lisa Ray trying to throw Tony Braxton under the bus along with Holly Berry, saying that they got the bad box? But ain't honey. nobody raving and going crazy over her box, child, so I'm really trying to figure out, are they in the bad box anonymous club alone, or Lisa, can you join them? Anyway, I need to hear from you. What do you think about everything going on with this situation? Leave a comment and you already know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, in this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.